Two weeks ago, Rinke sent me some phone accessories to review. This wrist strap and these phone cases. Here we have the Rinke Fusion clear case and the Rinke beveled smoke black case. Well, I've been rocking the Rinke Fusion clear case on my Pixel 2 XL for the past two weeks and so far I'm really liking it. So here are my thoughts on these products so far. Just keep in mind that all opinions are my own. Starting off with what Rinke claims. There's a long list of features, but essentially it boils down to this. The Fusion case claims to fit perfectly with the Pixel 2 XL. It's got a dual layer PC panel as well as TPU going all around it, which is supposed to make it easier to grip and make it the highest quality clear case. It's supposed to be attractive yet to minimize bulk. It offers military grade drop protection and it's available in other colors. Moving on to the smoke black bevel case. Military grade drop protection, soft and lightweight yet strong TPU all around. A modern diagonal and strategically rigged design. Whatever that means. Precise cutouts and tactical buttons. So in terms of my experience, I wanted to see how the TPU held up on the clear fusion case. TPU is well known for yellowing after a short amount of time. This ultimately leads to a not so attractive phone case. Well, fortunately after two weeks of, I would say intense usage because I have been using this case in all sorts of environments, it still looks as good as new. But to be entirely honest, it will probably eventually yellow, even though it's showing no signs of it so far. So I'm going to leave a comment down below when it does yellow if it does. It is easy to grip and that's thanks to the slim design. Feels really good in the hand. It also just looks very nice. It's a premium looking case for a non-premium price. I would have paid more than the retail price for this product even though I didn't have to purchase it. I've also dropped the case a few times throughout my usage and so far it's holding up pretty well. As for the smoke black case, I haven't been using this one as much and that's because I haven't really been concerned about this case yellowing over. But here is what I can tell you. It does look very nice and modern in person, just like they claimed. And I meant that even though I made fun of their strategically rigged design. The cutouts are precise, and that's true for the clear fusion case as well. And the buttons do feel tactile, and ditto. There isn't a whole lot to say about this case other than it just looks good. I want to mention that the packaging is actually very nice. I'm a fan of the eco-friendly pouches. Although I am a little confused as to why there was no military grade protection on the beveled case, whereas there is on the clear fusion case, even though the website claims that they both offer military grade drop protection. I was also given this strap, but I haven't really found any use for it. So I imagine it's more for active people who are maybe running or climbing or for children. But all of their cases are compatible with the wrist strap because there are cutouts for that. Now, would I recommend this product? The answer is yes. I would recommend it to just about anyone without hesitation. Inside this package, you get good protection and although it's not the best, it's sufficient for everyday use and the occasional drop. Especially great for the minimalists and those with smaller hands like myself. The only people that I would turn away from this product are those who truly need the extra protection, like those who work in the trades. Even then, I think that this is a pretty solid product. So what do you think about the Renke cases and their products? Leave a comment down below and that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so I'm editing the video now, but I'm just gonna make a quick update. If you have been on this channel for some time, you may have noticed that I have quietly discontinued the vlog. I want to bring it back, but I'm not quite ready for it yet. I've discontinued it for the meantime because I'm trying to make more progress on the secret project. I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible.